Hey guys, it's Freya again, here with the long-awaited creatures tutorial. Someone asked me to make one of these... probably years ago? And honestly, I've just never gotten around to it. But now, I've got a bit of free time on my hands, and I'm ready to go. So, this tutorial is assuming that you already know how to get into the game all the way, and you're just having trouble getting started. Now, if you're having problems because you don't have a login, what you need to do is get either the DS offline patch, or uh, C1 to DS. I personally use C1 to DS. You can tell I have it there because it says you can dock with Creatures 1, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have the Capilata with the She Starship as it is in Creatures Exodus. Both of these are really handy though, and I personally use Creatures 1 to DS because I just love the Creatures 1 universe. It's really aesthetically pleasing to me. Aside from that, and all my breed packs, I have nothing installed but the base game, so beginners will be able to follow along quite nicely, I think. Now, that being said, all of the games in the Creatures series can be pretty brutal if you've never played before, and the first time I played this was a disaster. So, hopefully this video will help you along and ensure that nothing overly horrible will happen your first time. Alright, so, as you can see, I've got that lovely play offline button, so we click that because the server has been down for years. And I'm just gonna say, just let me into the game. Because I like to do some preliminary setup. So you can name yourself, I'm putting in my name, and you can even change the color of your hand, which is pretty cool. Alright. So, you start out here, which is the Norn Meso, I think I'm pronouncing that right, sincerely hope so, and I like to get all of the rooms on the ship in a certain order, because otherwise it just bothers me. So I'm going to go ahead and just explore the ship until I have all the rooms I need. This will allow you to click on the icons at the very top when you need to go somewhere. Alternatively, you can scroll through them using page up and page down, or go to the first and last icons by using home and end on your keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts are very important in this game, as is cheating, I've found. Cheating... I know it's technically not the way the game was meant to be played, but it does make the process a lot easier. And I cannot catch that bee to save my life. Oh well. It does make the process an awful lot easier. So, I'm going to show you solutions to all of the situations you might encounter in the games without cheating first, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with cheating to save you time. However, I also like to take care of the ecosystem in Creatures, which without any kind of cheating at all is nearly impossible. So what I like to do is I go to the Desert Terrarium first, and I open up the command line by typing Control shift c and I say T-A-R-G-H-O-T-S a, C, C, G, and then some big number. I just mash in a lot of nines. What that does is it makes the acceleration due to gravity really high for whatever you point the cursor at. So I just got that balloon bug. And that will stop it from being able to fly because it's so heavy now. And I drop it in here because for some reason when the trout eat a balloon bug, the balloon bug itself does not disappear. So that's just an infinite food source for the fishies which keeps the kingfisher bird happy, and it generally speaking makes the Norn Terrarium look more alive. The next problem I wind up with is these dragonfly nymphs in the jungle terrarium. They just, they've got no chance at life, it's very sad. So I go over to the Norn Terrarium, I find one of these plants, and I go T-A-R-G-H-O-T-S, A-T-T-R, and then I use 198, I know that's not the number I'm supposed to use, but it's the only one I've been able to remember. But it makes you able to pick it up, among other things. You can also click on it, technically, but it doesn't do anything, because it doesn't have a script for it. And now the nymphs actually have a chance of life. I know it looks like the piranha are eating them, I promise they're not. But yeah, there you go. And so now you can have dragonflies in the jungle terrarium. That's just setup that I personally prefer to do. It is not required by any means to play the game. And 
We have an Etten. Ettens are very cute and very sweet and they have butts for days. But they can be a little bit annoying. So whether or not you want to have them is entirely up to you. I like to keep them around just because they're so adorable. So I'm going to put her in the Norn Terrarium. And if you didn't know, you can pick up a creature by holding shift and right clicking. That was a grasshopper. There we go. That's the Etten. Gonna name you... Heck, F1 does not work on this new computer. So if F1 doesn't work because you're on a computer that does not support the F1 key being used for in-game help, you just click on the agent help thing there, and then you right click on your creature to name it. So I'm gonna name you Ruby, because why not? I like to give my Ettens gemstone names. I feel like it's really fitting. So we go back here. This will eventually produce another Etten egg. And this here is the Grendel egg layer, and it will produce a Grendel egg. Now, Grendels, unlike in the first two games, are actually a pretty serious threat in Creatures 3 and Docking Station. They can and will murder your Norns. And so, there's a few options here. You can train them not to hit Norns, which is very, very time-consuming and not all that safe. You can wait for the eggs to hatch and stick them in the piranha pool. Don't worry, that is not murder. Because in the Creatures Engine, unless you download an add-on to make it otherwise, eggs will not hatch if they're underwater. So putting eggs in any body of water will stop them from hatching. Or you can cheat, and I'm not going to do this, but you can use the command K-I-L-L, -L, like kill, H-O-T-S, and that will delete whatever you're pointing at. So I'm going to show you on this plant here, goodbye. And you can use that on the egg layer and also the one in the Etten Terrarium, if you don't want them in your game. But I'm going to keep them in so that you can see basically more or less the base game without any kind of cheating. So now that you've got everything set up, you're going to want to hatch some Norns. You can use the egg layer here, or you can use the egg layer here. It really doesn't matter. I think the egg layer in the Norn Terrarium in the Creatures Exodus version is a little bit buggy. So I'm going to use the one here. I'm going to get a... Male Astro Norn. There you go, you have an egg. And for the female, I will obtain... Hmm. Let's go for an expressive Civet Norn. I think they're kind of cute. And you will have two eggs. So you wait for those to hatch, and we have a baby boy. So I'm gonna name you, oh, again, I keep forgetting I can't use F1. I'm gonna name you Zaphod. Cause why not? He's an Astro Norn, it makes enough sense. And we'll take you to the Norn Terrarium to get you adjusted. We have another Etten here. I will name you Jade. So let's bring you here. The Ettens will wander off. It's fine. They can do their own thing as long as they don't get themselves killed. And you will be named Victoria. Oh, I can't spell. There we go. Victoria. So you can use the tab key on your keyboard to cycle through all the creatures in your world. As you can see, Ruby has already wandered off to the medical bay. And so let's pick her up and bring her back. She doesn't technically need to be here, but I like to keep them around. Now, the way she got there was probably through the medical teleporter, which is somewhere up here, I believe. Yeah, here it is. So this device will take you to the med bay. So, if I show you on Victoria, oh, no, she'll just pick it up. Can I click on it? No, you're not going to let me. Hold on. There we go. And then they're both sent to the medical bay. 
Now, this area of the ship is very important if you aren't going to use the hover dock. For instance, if you were playing Creatures 3 standalone, you would definitely need to use this area in case your Norns got ill. So, if we put Victoria in this pod, and we open up this lower panel, you can see her heartbeat is strong, she's not injured, there's no bacteria, no toxins, that means she's perfectly healthy. But if she were sick, it would show either bacteria, injury, toxin, or a weak heartbeat, something like that, and you would then know what's wrong and know what you need to do. So let's put her back. And let's put Zephod back. And there you go. So that's more or less a rudimentary setup thing. You're gonna wanna start out with a male and a female, of course, so they can breed. And eventually, you're going to want to teach them how to talk. So, Zaphod's awake now, so I will demonstrate that on him. There's a room in here where you can go in. And this will teach him some basic words. So, as the computer says it, he'll learn it. The auto-tutor will just make it cycle through the words automatically. And, with any luck, he will learn the words. There's two different sets of vocabulary. The second one can be accessed by pressing this button, and I'll have him learn those after this is completed. We have a birth. It is a little baby Grendel. Now, the Grendels, like, like I said, they can be dangerous, so it's important to just keep them away from your Norns. There's a few ways you can do that. One, you can, anytime you see him getting close, you can just pick him up and move him. That's an option. Option two, you can kill them, but don't kill them. They're so cute. Look at this lizardy fellow. I love him. I will name you... Murky, after my first Grendel. Well, the first Grendel I had who I didn't freak out at, because when I started playing creatures, like everyone almost did, I... I assumed the Grendels were these horrible things, and so I did my I did my best to get rid of them. But they're actually not so bad once you get to know them. So Zephod is still learning a few words. And once this is done, I will show you how to teach them nouns. And then with Victoria. I'll show you the quicker, cheatier way. Alright, I think this is the last one. So. Let's say I want to teach him the word for food. I would go to agent help again, like when I was naming them. And you left click on the food. Fofo. Fofo! Kofefe! No, food. Alright, and that's more or less how you teach your Norns words. Now, the agent help is also really useful in this aspect. If you don't know what an object is, you can open up agent help and right click on it. This is the finest chi cheese around. It is a good source of fat and protein, which are two important parts of a Norns staple diet. And I always have to put on an English accent when I do those because. The she were very, 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 very British. They liked their tea and biscuits and whatnot, and even though I'm not British, I, I feel obligated to express that aspect of their culture. So, if we go to Miss Victoria over here, the quick way of teaching a Norn how to talk is you open the command line, and you type T-A-R-G-N-O-R-N-V-O-C-B. And now, if you say express, she's tired, rest. You can now communicate more effectively with your Norns. And that command will work regardless of species. Norn in the command line just means your currently selected creature. So I'll apply that to Zaphod and find out how he's doing. He's also tired, rest. Apply that to Jade.
she's bored. So let's get her a toy. I think there was a toy in the learning room. There we go. Although I think Ettens have more fun with gadgets. I'm not sure about that one. I don't take meticulous care of my Ettens, but push toy will usually do the trick. She's going straight for the gadgets. All right. How about Ruby? Express. Oh, I didn't teach you how to talk. There we go. Express. Oh, she's homesick. All right. Well, we can take her to the desert if she's homesick. And our good friend Murky is asleep, so we'll leave him be. Leave sleeping Grendel's lie. Rule number one. All right. Uh, let's teach Zayf all the rest of the words the fast way. And now we can put him back with Miss Victoria. And that's basically how you get started in Creatures. Um, I'll give a tutorial for the more advanced elements, like breeding them, at a later date, but that's all for now. See you guys!